You got a chance to see some pretty big whales in Maui. Were they as big as you thought they'd be? We've been a couple of times and did the whole whale watching, but this past time, they're hitting your boat and stuff. Pretty good. Have you gotten a chance to make pasta since your trip to Italy? In Italy, we did the whole cooking class and everything, which was really good because I need to learn as much as I can about cooking and so does my wife. Sorry, Renee, but we have not brought the uh, cooking the pasta back to the U.S. yet, so we're, we're still waiting for the right moment to, to make the pasta. Was it easier than milking a goat, though? I've done that, but the pasta, I would think, a little more easier. While you're in Italy, you got a chance to ride a gondola. Will we ever see you going down one of those in the Mississippi River? <laughs> oh, shoot, I don't know about the Mississippi River now, but uh, that was a good experience. Uh, the, the gondola and everything with we got our own bottle of wine, we, but in the Mississippi, probably not. We saw you posted a picture during Halloween outside, waiting for kids to come for yeah. candy. Is Halloween one of your favorite yeah. holidays? I love Halloween. My wife and I, we moved into our house right after marriage and everything, and sure enough, it's Halloween, and we forgot all about it. And these kids come knocking, and we had no candy whatsoever. So I'm like giving them protein bars in the back and granola bars and stuff. And they're like kind of like, what the heck? Are you serious? So uh, they went and told their parents. So we, we had to step up our candy game. So last year, we have a little French bulldog. We dressed up as French bulldogs, and the kids kept rolling in, and we overloaded their baskets. <laughs> so you mentioned your dog. Are you big time dog lover? I want a duck hunting dog. And my wife said, no, with all the traveling we do and all this, it's not good. Wait till you retire and that could be your kind of thing. I said, okay. So we got a French bulldog and her name is Pickle. And it is by far the best dog in the world. She is spoiled rotten, but we go for rides. She's on my lap looking out the window every time. She sleeps between my legs. She's got a tough life now. <laughs> the Rubik's Cube, is it as easy as you make it seem? Well, no, by any means, no. What, what happened was when I was in the minor leagues and uh, I cannot sleep on buses or planes, I can't do it. I'm not a big reader, so I said, you know what, on these 14 hour bus drives, I'm gonna learn how to do a Rubik's Cube. So I bought one, I started looking up algorithms of how which place goes to what or whatever. I guess it's a cool little little thing you can pull out of your bag every one and out and in, but I gotta always do it like once every month or so just to kinda, just in case. Of, Somebody like a couple of days ago asked, hey, can you do it? Yeah, uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We've seen some of your dancing skills inside the clubhouse. Yeah. Have you found a consistent dancing partner since Tori Hunter left? Yeah, Eduardo Escobar, he, uh, he kind of steals the show. If you look around, if a camera's ever on him, uh, during BP especially, even during the middle of games and stuff, he's out there dancing. But uh, we got rid of the dance party, per se, after wins. Uh, now we just have the strobe lights and the smoke machines and all that kind of stuff. No dancing, but Escobar, that's my dancing partner. So. If you could ask anybody a question and you're guaranteed a yes, what would the question be and who'd you ask it to? Ooh, I would ask for our owner if I could have his private plane. I come from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We always had to drive two hours to fly commercial. We have a little runway. We can jet all them on hunting trips and stuff. If I can have his plane whenever I want it. Sounds doable. Yeah, <laughs> let's put in a word, Polab. <laughs>